Here we are in the Beta 2020.2 Tableau Desktop UI. I've connected to the Bookshop dataset and I'm on the Data Source tab. We can drag a table from the left to the canvas, just like always. When we do, we see a preview of the data in the data grid below. Let's bring out a second table. This is a new experience. This noodle represents the relationship between these two tables. This table is now related to the first, not joined. We see the related fields, and there's no join operator. Related fields are always equal to. Tableau automatically chooses the related fields if it can, but we can always choose our own or add another set of related fields. There are performance options, but only change them if you understand what they are and what the settings should be. If that's not the case, rest assured that the defaults are safe and your results will be accurate. When we click on the author table, we see the columns from just that table in the data grid below. When we click back on the book table, we see the columns from the book table in the data grid. This is a hint as to what is going on with relationships. Unlike with joins, relationships do not merge tables together. Instead, we simply set up the relationship then use the fields in the view. Tableau automatically figures out the join type, the right aggregation, and how to handle nulls. There are some instances where we may want to create a join, such as if you need to join on a calculation. To create a join, we'll double click on the table, and we can bring out another table. Now we see the join experience that we're used to. When we close that physical layer, we get back to the logical layer, which is the new default. If you open a workbook that was built before relationships were available, you'll see a single table on the canvas called migrated data. You can relate additional data to this table by dragging out new tables, or double click to open the physical layer and you'll see the old view of the data model. It will function identically to before, as will your analysis. Joins, as well as blends and unions, which are built the same as before by dragging out new union from the left pane, can be used when specifically necessary. Most of the time, relationships will work and can be used as the default way to combine data. When we go to the Sheet tab, we can see there's a different treatment in the data pane as well. Each table has a distinction between dimensions and measures, instead of dimensions at the top of the data pane and measures at the bottom. There is also a general area below the tables at the bottom, and if we create calculations that, say, have fields from multiple tables, those will go here. If we create a calculation or a group or a set that's relevant to one table, it will stay with that table. There is also no longer a number of records field. The data source is not combined into a single flattened table. All of the related tables stay separate. Each table has a count field, which can be thought of as a local number of records. Similarly, if we view data, each table gets its own tab because there is no holistic single table for the whole data source. Relationships are the new default way to combine data, and they work in most situations. Because related data sources don't merge tables, data duplication from joins is a thing of the past. Because measures stay in their native tables, totals and aggregations are more intuitive. Because the data model is aware of how tables are related, 
unmatched values are handled for you. Instead of thinking about how to join your data, start thinking about how to just use it. Try it out for yourself. You can download the bookshop data or use some of your own. Remember to leave feedback at prerelease.tableau.com.